Hello guys. Welcome to Vision Lads. In today's class we will learn about bevel and emboss. So let's start our today's class. Let's create a shape first. So now right click on layer. And you will see blending options. Or you can go here and select from here. And also double click on layer to open blending options. Now you will see the option. Bevel and emboss. Left click on it to turn on the option. Now you will see different settings. First let me increase its size. So you will understand what is going on. Now you see. It is making this circle 3D ball. You can see it's very smooth. In technique switch to chisel hard. It will remove its smoothness. Now if I turn down its size. You can see it is creating depth on edges to make it 3D. You can control its depth from depth slider. And its size from size slider. From technique you can make its edges smooth and hard. Now if you go to its style. From here you can set its depth. Inside and outside. Now it's creating outer depth. And from emboss you can create inner and outer depth together. And from this soften. You can make edges softer. Direction is where you can set its lighting is coming from. From up or from down. Or you can set your custom lighting from here. You can also add these effects to any text. You can apply same settings. Size, depth and style. Now moving on to contour. Anti-aliased makes edges a little softer nothing much. And from this contour library. You can add different styles of depth or you can say bevel. Double click on its icon. And select custom from here. Just left on this and add points. And now you can add your custom bevel to it. Moving on to final effect. Textures. Open texture library. Select any texture. Now you can add depth on your textures. If you have your own texture. You can create depth on that too. And this is how bevel and emboss work in Photoshop. This is it for today's class. We will see you guys in our next class.